Welcome back to Prominence 2 RPG. Let's take on the next boss in the Void's Invasion. Last time we beat the Fallen Icon. I actually was saving this. Got this runic great axe from killing the Fallen Icon. Whatever I get for beating the Fallen Icon better be good. That was crazy hard battle. But this time we're going to take on the Obsidolith. Animated monolith controls the Void's influence. So we need to find an Obsidolith arena, which I think we've already found. And then next up is the eye. But depending on how easy the Obsidolith is or not, we maybe we'll take on the eye in this episode too. Look at this ax. Click to identify its runic power. Zephyr, chance on hit to gain attack and move speed. There's a few things I wanna show you before we just jump into a boss fight. Let's call this things I wish I did earlier. Uh, first of all, our ME system is down. Here's why. I think what's happening is because I'm playing on a server, part of my ME network is in the spawn chunks, which is always chunk loaded, even if no one's online. And that's using up all the power in the network, whereas the lava generation is not chunk loaded when nobody's on the server, so it just runs out of fuel. It doesn't take very long for even an 80 million energy unit storage energy cell to run out. And now I do have a backup of 288 buckets of lava. I also have a backup of charcoal blocks. So if I just drop some charcoal blocks, it doesn't take many. It'll kind of kickstart the whole thing. Drop a block of charcoal into the furnator, and that'll do it. There we go. There's the sound of the annihilation plane grabbing some water, and we've got our network back again. Another thing I wanted to show you, just so many mods in this pack. I wanted to show you this advanced netherite, this advanced netherite mod, which I think might be one of the most OP armors you can get. Somebody mentioned it in the comments. I appreciate that very much when you guys drop tips. But this chest plate is plus nine armor and plus four armor toughness. Um, another one is the Terra Steel chest plate, which is plus eight and plus three from Batania. The thing about the Terra Steel chest plate is it uses mana to constantly regenerate. So it's not ever going to break on you as long as you have a source of mana. I've got the jet suit, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. The advanced netherite armor, diamond netherite armor, is stronger than this one. It's plus nine armor versus plus seven, but this has plus six armor toughness. And again, I've got unbreakable on this, so it's pretty much unbreakable. So definitely check out the advanced netherite mod if you are, especially if you haven't gone to, through Ad Astra like I did a few episodes ago to get this jet suit. Looks like a pretty good solid armor set. Let's go take on the Obsidolith. Somewhere in the end, I think maybe near this one. I think I marked on the map. Yeah, this structure right here, which I thought might be the Obsidolith. I don't see anything closer that looks the same. Is that maybe that? It seems to be some kind of end temple. Get distracted too much, Scott, but at least say we check this out. These things Pretty annoying though. Oh, those are just endermites. Didn't recognize them. What's this? Am I gonna blow up if I land on this? Oh, loot chests. All right. Good loot in here. I'll tell you that. Ring of omnipotence. Wow, oh, there's some crazy stuff in here. Whoa, ho, whoa, ho, ho. And that one was trapped. Rookie move, Scott. Rookie move. All right, we'll just have to find another one. But that shows just how OP we are. Good job. Good job. That's kind of embarrassing. Here it is. Okay, it is not over land, so if I fall, that could be a problem. And this looks like wants an Eye of Ender in it. Guess I only needed one. All right, let's do it. Step back a little. Thanks to the jetpack, I can just hit spacebar and float, so. Okay, let's see Obsidolith. Uh, not doing a heck of a lot of damage. How about the Lich Blade? Oh, what? What? Thing jumps? All 
All right, it seems to be immune to magic. Arrows bounce off it. What are we gonna fight this with? I mean, we're doing damage a little bit. Man, it just keeps, just keeps hitting me. This thing has got so much strength. What in the world? I'm gonna hit this like a thousand times. I guess I just, ah. Thankfully, I'm just fully OP here. This, how about this great axe? This is doing three damage at a time. And I'm just tanking this thing because I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much invulnerable to the damage. If I stand on top of it, doesn't like it. Watch out. Oof. Okay, we're about to enter the next phase, I think. Maybe under 1500. Yep. Doing really, like no damage to this thing. The arrows hit him in phase two. Nope. Not taking damage. Arrows are bouncing off. Oh. Look at these things that appeared. I don't even notice. It's starting to do damage to me. Okay. Okay, now can I do damage? Yes, now I can do damage. Oh, we're doing a lot more damage now. Oh, the arrows are hurting him now. How about this? How about the Lich Blade? Lich Blade is doing some damage here. All right, we're about to get down into the third phase. Okay, what's gonna happen now? More of these things, okay. Let's break these quickly this time. Oh, he just landed on me. Okay. Hard to mine when you're getting blown up. Good. All right. Let's go. He's going to keep the Lich Blade on him. Uh, of course, these guys are here. The anti-magic committee's back. Okay, we're in phase four. What's gonna happen? More of these things to break, okay. Okay, there's one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, break. Yes. All right, one more. All right. Let's finish this guy. Let's play, do your thing.
Trying all the different weapons. Oh, he's almost dead. Finish him off with the Lich Blade swing. It's almost there. And he built the giant tower. What's up there? That's completed. All right. What have we got? A nice loot chest. Plus 24% projectile damage. That is a good one. Okay. I think the important thing we got from this, though, is this obsidian heart, which is a crafting material which we can make something with. What can we make? Staff of suppression. Oh, it's like a it's like a magnum torch. Some cool stuff. Grants short range teleport through solid blocks. Some pretty cool stuff. We can complete the quest. Oh, we get a staff of suppression for free and another table of elevation. You made one of those earlier in the series. Gives you creative flight in a little small area. Okay. We need to make an eye shrine to take on the eye. Should we do it? All right, let's take on the eye. Find a nice big area to do this in. Right here seems pretty good. So what did it say we needed to do? Make a shrine, five by five obsidian and three by three crying obsidian on all edges and end rod. And we need to sacrifice the dragon egg. We've got a dragon egg, obsidian, crying obsidian. I don't have any end rods. Well, I can make end rods with Blaze Rod and Popped Chorus Fruit. Thankfully, I have a crafting recipe for Popped Chorus Fruit. That seems to be working slowly. While that's happening, let's make our platform here. One, two, three, four, five. Crying Obsidian. It said end rod on all edges. Okay, I think this is set up correctly. Five by five on the bottom, three by three, all surrounded with end rods. We need to find our dragon egg. You saved your dragon egg, right? You get two from beating the dragon, if I remember correctly. And what? We sacrifice it by putting it here? Does something happen? Okay, I think these end rods seem to be... That's not normal end rod behavior, is it? I'm not even sure if we did this right. Okay, that seems to be progressing. Oh, look, there's a mutant enderman over there. Great. All right, I'm starting to think this isn't going to work. Yeah, it worked. Uh, he's up in the air. Arrows? Okay. And we hit him with arrows. fly up to him, but I'm afraid he's going to go higher. We're doing some pretty good damage here, so maybe this can just be... Whoa! There's three of them. Seems to be working, though. Just the arrows. I think the Endermen are mad at them and not me. All right, back to just the one. Can I hit him with the Lich Blade? Oh, that's just going to make the Endermen mad at me. I 
think my arrows are coming back. They are piercing. And I think they're hitting them on the way down. Okay, we've got them halfway down. Is it really this easy? Ooh. Did I get teleported or did they? I think I did. Ah. I'm getting teleported. Hope it doesn't send me off the edge. Does it matter which eye I hit? Getting him down there. Oh, see, these eyes like shooting at me and teleport me. Are Endermen attacking me? Endermen are mad at me? No, it's them hitting me. But maybe it's me hitting myself with my own arrows. These end, these, it's like split open now. Not sure what's happening. What are they even doing to me? I'm not even feeling these beams that they're made an advancement. Does it think I already beat it? We're, we're close. Teleport me away. Is that it? Did I do it? That's another egg. I got the egg back. That's nice. Let's check the quests. Void touched blade. Void touched blade. Call of the void bow. Blade is infused with a disturbing purpose after countless ages trapped in the end. And you can feel the void whispering from deep within this bow, but behind that sound is another voice in the darkness. Okay, continuing the quests here, we've got a couple other things here. Skalax Reward. With the defeat of the dimensional threats and the restoration of the realm's balance, Skalak the Eternal Flame spoke directly to the champion. In recognition of your valor and dedication, I bestow upon you a fragment of my essence, the Molten Core. This gift, illuminated by Skalax's fiery presence, signified both the hero's triumph and a pledge of continued protection for their world. Here it is, the Molten Core, made from the depths of Vaz by the creator of all things, Skellok, given as a reward to those who have proven themselves worthy by eliminating the threats of the realms. Chapter 2. A New End The Void Shadow has been defeated, but its essence escaped the empty void and formed a rift in the end. Something is coming. Deep in the end, strange voices are now whispering, the king in yellow is near. Unknown power, the invasion has been halted for now. We must prepare for what lies ahead, a new form of magic that we're unfamiliar with known as the Corruption. I'll embark upon a quest to discover a new material that could offer us a fighting chance against it. As for you, the Molten Core is nothing but a vessel. You will need the essence of ancient beings. Once harnessed, these essences will empower it to be able to forge the formidable artifacts. It is your mission to obtain them. I guess I've already... Defeat the Decaying King. We did that. Old Champion's Remains. We defeated him. Defeat the Ghost of Captain Cornelia. That's from the Aquamaray mod. Void's Influence. With the defeat of the Void Shadow, the end has been affected by the Void's higher forces, the Cosmic Horrors. Eldritch beings that hold pure corruption in their veins. Oh my gosh, there's so much more. This is not over yet. That was nothing but a shadow. And now with this rift... I'm afraid we won't be able to do this unless we use their own power against them. We could trap one of the heralds of the void inside a vessel and with it gather their power. But first, make yourself a better weapon. I'll make the vessel, Skellax says. Follow the Skellax Forge questline for more information on forging artifacts. Let's just get the egg back and we'll head home. All right, guys, we did it. We beat the Obsidolith and the Eye to finish up the Void's Invasion questline, which opened up a whole bunch more quests. But I think I'm going to pause right here, end the series. And if I pick this up again, it'll be with the Hesturian Era, which is the next version of Prominence that's coming, I think, pretty soon, maybe this summer, which is a couple months from now. But I think this is a good stopping point for the series. Kind of looking forward to starting up something new. I hope you join me. If you'd like to, please hit that subscribe button.
keep up with the channel. This has been maybe the most fun mod pack I've ever played. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one.